he had told me that I would have seen this GT4 in another country and continent, I would have called you a liar, my good sir. But alas, here we are in a rainy Tokyo, thousands of miles away from Los Angeles, tens of thousands of miles away from London. I just made that up. I don't know. But here we are, cold start in the GT4, making its round around the world. First, Europe then America and now we're finally conquering Japan land of the rising sun so without further ado let's hop in familiar faces familiar places Whoa. day one of the multi week road trip here across the southern part of Japan we found ourselves at the Magari Gawa track on a very rainy Tuesday I believe starting to lose track of time and day because of all the traveling we've been doing. We went from Taiwan to China, back to LA, and now we're back in Japan, 6,800 miles from Los Angeles. We got the wire R and a exposed carbon red over here. We got the whole squad over here. We got Patrick, Ken Sato's little 718 Spider. We got Mr. Kenneth and Aaron Chun in the Civic Type R. And of course, all the way from LA is Mr. Penfold's GT4. So without further ado, I think we're taking some photos of the Wire R and Patrick's Regera that he just got back from service. So that being said, let's hop on over and take a gander. Wow, this is nice. I could get used to this at the Magarigawa pit lane. Climate controlled from both ends. You got the TV screens over there. You got your cars over here. And of course, the Wire R just chilling on that end. And of course, we got our little Magilus sitting room over here. And of course, the Zen Garden outside. Now, unfortunately, the weather is not cooperating today. But with the rain, the photos and videos might look pretty sick. We got to open up the doors a little bit here. Get some airflow in here. I like this little Zen Garden they got going on over here. Look at the rocks. Nice little bridge. And of course, right here, wire arm. This is pretty interesting. We got the menu here at the Magarigawa Club, and they've listed and basically excel sheeted every little bit of the track that if you hit damage or destroy, there's a price tag right there. And if you Google Translate, there's like the guardrail, side guardrail, so on and so forth, which is absolutely fascinating. So we were here about a year and a half ago, and honestly, none of this was here. So to see it fully completed is honestly absolutely stunning. Look at these, they got rocks, a little rock garden on the top of these uh, little facilities here, the little storage units. Here comes the Regera, Mr. Patrick himself. Oh wow, that's a sick spec, look at that. Zoom in, zoom in, zoom in. We got all the shooters out here in the rain. I cannot stress to you guys how, <laughs> how brave it is for Patrick to have this car out in the torrential downpour here at the Magarigawa track. I don't know about you guys, but man, when I hear rain, hypercars, and especially Regeras, I get a little nervous. Let's be honest, I get a little nervous, but man, this is the first time seeing his Regera out and about. Oh yeah, the rain's coming down even harder, but we got the shooters out. We got Aaron Chun, Ken Seidel, Alex Penfold. Oh man, brave souls with the umbrellas, but my goodness, look at this. By the way, these are the two Porsches that are coming on the massive road trip to the southern parts of Japan. Thousands of miles that will be put on these two cars. Whoa. Check out the interior to Patrick's Regera over here. It's gonna match the exterior, but it's got the two-tone yellow and blue leather seats all over the place and the dry carbon. Oh my goodness. Absolutely crazy. Literally checked every option box. These brave souls out here in the rain. I mean, good Lord almighty. When's the last time you ever saw Regera on track in the rain? Never, that's what I thought. Looks like both the cars are rolling out. 
when that wire R turns on, it just snaps on, dude. It's loud and it's crisp. Sounds good. Pretty insane. Multi-million dollar track toy here at the Magar Gar Club. There she is, one of 30 Pagani Wire R track toys. Multi-million dollar track toy. Now they do have the Wire R Evo. Now that one is coming out pretty soon. It's even longer. It's like a long tail variant of the Wire R, but I don't know how many they're building. I don't know what the price are, but apparently on those, you could take the top off and experience the naturally aspirated six liter V12 in all its glory. So that being said, my goodness gracious, what a day. What a time to be alive in the rain here all the way at the Magarigala track day. This is a real treat for you, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Kone Turnpike to ourselves all the way up. It's 14 kilometers up, 14 kilometers down. For the OG subscribers who remember the Hakone Turnpike back in, was it 2016 or 2016? Uh, our buddy, Mr. Penfo behind us was going a few kilometers over the speed limit and got a ticket and he had to take a ride down with the policeman <laughs> to get his passport photocopied and he received the ticket later for like a, what, what, a couple thousand yen or something yeah, like that like so it was, 12, a, yen. it was a 12,000 yen fine so alas well, today there will be no policeman this entire uh, turnpike has been rented with a wire R to do a couple runs up and down so this is going to be crazy <laughs> These are the perks, boys. Having the entire turnpike to yourself for the entire day. Today, they've rented the entirety of Hakone Turnpike, and they're gonna be dropping this car off and doing a couple runs up and down, unrestricted access, no speed limits, no rules, right, <laughs> basically. So, it's a little chilly, a little windy, but a beautiful day here at the Hakone Turnpike. Look at that scenery right over there sun is shining down on all of us looks like they're gaining the wire r ready for a couple runs doing some uh final checks and a randa zonda s has pulled up here getting unfettered access here to this very early zondini c12s with a 7.3 liter v12 let's take a look at the interior over here as well hold on a second oh my goodness gracious look at that in its pierced form and let's take a look at the engine bay as well while it's being propped open one sec Ooh. Mm. as you all know the older zondinis have a more grumbly sound to it the naturally aspirated 7 n 7.3 liter that the zonda s came in the early ones were all 7 liter and the later ones 7.3 but the zonda f though probably sounds the best but man an early zonda in the flesh what a real treat here these are the things that we find ourselves doing while waiting for our cars to arrive and go on the uh, hakone turnpike mr penfold himself on a swing oh look at that chopper over there hold on hold on a second oh yeah that's sick Currently sat here at a pretty nice straightaway here at the Hakone Turnpike and 
I don't think the car will be going at 100%. They're gonna get a couple of rolling shots, some video, real nice and smooth. But one can only hope for a semi-decent pull right here. I think this is our best shot. <laughs> Kenneth in the E63S. <laughs> now we're talking. <laughs> Damn, now we're rolling. I got to say, there's something special about seeing a race car on the streets, even though Hakone Turnpike has been closed off to the public, having free reign to go up and down as you please. Man, what a treat. Look at the H2 Hummer over there. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's two. I'm just an MG next to that. That's a strange combo, my brother. Strange combo indeed. Hold on, let me zoom in all the way. Oh yeah, definitely a music video of some sort. He's thinking about it. He's getting the phone out. He's got the DSOR in hand. We're doing a play by play. Oh, and he's got the photo. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, if I saw Pagani Waira R on the streets of Tokyo, I'll probably do the same thing. We're currently here in the streets of Tokyo. It is nighttime, and there is a Wire R getting unloaded near Ginza. And word on the street is this car might actually be on the road driving very soon. So without further ado, let's get out of the road here, watch them unload the car, and hope for the best. There's definitely a crowd being gathered here, but my goodness, seeing this car on the road is absolutely insanity. <laughs> with a 
turns on, ladies and gentlemen. It just snaps. Ha! Up. We're gonna we're gonna run over. We're gonna run over. Good old fashioned leaping. We're gonna run on over to the intersection. You cannot believe this thing is on the streets. Look, it's literally right there in between the taxis. So when this light turns green over here, we're gonna follow it a couple blocks, and it might get stuck at a light here. Hold on a second. Insane. Unbelievably, they hit every single green light, which is astonishing. We thought it would be caught up at a red light, and it didn't. And I'm out of breath. To be fair, it's caused quite a commotion here, but man, I ran, boys. I tried my best, but he literally hit every single green light. But you know what? It's all right. We know that it happened, and we gave it our best. And just like that, it's over before you know it, but it was great while it lasted.